So hi guys and welcome back. What we have here today is another frame from DemonRC, DemonRC.eu, which is the Nox 5 frame, which is an X frame uh, with a size of 210 millimeters. In our video today, we will unbox this, which we are doing right now. And as you can see, it's really nicely boxed in this uh, black bags, which each one is separately uh, labeled here. So we will unbox this today, then we will uh, take a look at all parts in detail, we will take the weight of all parts, we will of course do our carbon fiber test, we will measure all parts to see the <coughs> thickness, the stability of them, and then uh, we will do a time lapse build of the pair frame, we will weight the pair frame, and then I will give you my conclusion. So here we have it unboxed in all of its glory. What I really like is this nice, bluely colored screws. They were really, uh, I think this will be a nice looking frame. <laughs> but let's take a look first what we have here. We have four of these really thick arms. So I guess these are four millimeter arms. They look really nice, really nice and thick quality. That's great. Then we have this bottom plate here, as you can see. Then this center plate. We will of course do a time lapse build in a minute to see how this goes together. The top plate, which is here, which is a bit thinner, but that's okay because there is not so much stress on the top plate. All the mounting hardware, which you can see here. And finally, this parts here all belong to the FPV camera mount which we will also take a look at in just a minute. So what we will start is uh, take a look at the weight of all of these parts here, which you can see on the table. So let's take a look at the weight of this here. Let's start with all of this mounting hardware. Let's see if I can get it all onto this. <laughs> which already comes to, as you can see, 18, close to 20 grams alone for the mounting hardware. And then let's add these massive arms. So one arm brings us to 31 grams, the next one to 43. So we can see it's about 12 grams for each of these massive carbon fiber arms. Let's take a look at the bottom plate here which brings us to 84 grams, top plate, 94 grams, center plate, 102 grams, and then the uh, FPV camera mount, which brings us to a, a weight of these parts of the bare frame of 108 grams, which is of course, given this massive arms, it's not so lightweight, but well, it should also be very robust. What we will now quickly do is take some measurements of the arm width and so on. Well, I suppose these are four millimeter arms, but let's take a look to be sure. And oh, these are actually three millimeter arms. I thought these were four millimeter arms, but these are actually three millimeter arms. But these look really, really massive and nice. So no easy way of breaking them, I would say. Let's say, see what we have here. This is the top plate, which is 1.5 millimeters. Then this bottom plate here, I would guess at two millimeters. Oh, a bit less. Also 1.6 millimeters measure here. 1.7 millimeters. So around 1.6 to 1.7 millimeters. This center plate here is at 1.5 millimeters and of course the small part so this is just a FPV camera mount it doesn't amount to much 1.5 millimeters the side walls here for the frame also 1.5 1.5 millimeters and the other parts here so that gave you the measurements before we go to the time lapse build I will quickly do my carbon fiber test 
just to be sure that this is conductive, which we assume then is carbon fiber. So let's take a look at this. Can you see it? Yes. So let's see, take a look at the holes here. And yes, you can see this is carbon fiber for this bottom plate, for the arms as well, for the top plate, yes. So this looks fine, also the center plate. Yeah, this is okay, this is true carbon fiber and I wouldn't have expected anything else. Here in the close-up you can actually see the different layers of carbon fiber and this looks really smooth and really nicely drilled. So this looks like a good quality. So what we will do now is uh, we will go straight to the time-lapse build of this. Okay, so now we have finalized the time-lapse build and well, uh, I'm pretty impressed, <laughs> of course, by the looks of it. So you can see these blue screws make it really shine. So this looks very nice. Like, all, all in all, this is no problem at all. So it is very stable, it is very robust. So there shouldn't be any issues with that. As you can see here, you can mount the PDP here and the flight controller. This is all well and nice. Here on the top, these are two side plates, which are supposed to protect the camera. Uh, another thing, uh, yeah, well, this is obviously the mount for the HD cam. You could think about 
putting some vibration dampeners here instead of these uh, plastic washers. This could be a minor improvement, but all in all I will probably just use some foam here anyways to mount my run cam or my Fox here, so this should be fine. All in all, I love the blue screws. This looks like a really, really nice, shiny, excellent X-frame, 210 size. So what we will do now is measure the weight of the bare frame, which we have here. So the weight of the bare frame here comes to 106 grams, so of course a bit less than before because we have some additional mounting material here which we did not use. And yeah, nice frame. Really love the blue screws. Some minor things to maybe improved. Other than that, wow, shiny looking frame, nice frame. I will surely build this up. Really looking forward to it. I have some really nice motors incoming, some T motors maybe, which I might use on this frame to make it somehow a bit of a race machine, you know. <laughs> so stay tuned for the build video. Hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'm looking forward to see you next time.